Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Diana. In this video, you will find instructions of the pages that you have to work in this week from September 28th to October 2nd. Please don't forget to deliver your work no later than Friday at 1 p.m. Any additional information, you can contact me by card or email. Okay guys, so let's start on page 304. Here you will find a listening. For this opportunity, you need to enter to the AMCO platform for you can reproduce the track 46 and 47. In first place, you have to listen to the conversation that is on track 46 and circle the correct answer to each question. Remember that the text of this conversation is in your book too. In the second activity, you have to write your answer to the question. What could you learn from doing a project like the one described in the conversation? This is your personal opinion. In the third activity, you have to listen to the second conversation that is on track 47. Complete the cards with information about Simon and Janet's life. What is her favorite singer or group? What is her favorite music style and what is her hobby? What is his favorite singer or group? What is his favorite music style? What music style he dislikes? On page 305, we have a step into the past, add over time. In individual way, you have to look at the picture below and use the questions to talk about them. What do you see in these pictures? How are these works of art different from the ones created today? What change have there been in art? Why do you think these changes have taken place? Now have another look at the pictures or you can fill the graphic organizer with your answers. What kind of art is represented in the picture? What may have been its purpose? Who did it? This is the graphic organizer that you are going to complete. If you need to share more information, you can do it, or you can complete the graphic organizer. On page 306, we have a speaking. Here you will find some information about informative speech. Also tips to prepare an informative speech. Take a minute to read this information for you can work the next activity. When you finish to read, you are ready to work in this part. You have to fill in the outline for a speech with information on your favorite artist. Here you will write the introduction. You can write a couple of questions to introduce the artist of your choice. Then artist biography. Here you have to write information you consider important about the artist, his or her name, age, nationality, etc. Here you have to write the art description, key ideas for describing his or her arts. And the conclusion, the most important points point you come up to after thinking about his this artist. On the page 307, you will find cross curricula doing art with mathematics. Take a few minutes for you can read the information that the book gives. When you finish, you are ready to work the activities. In this first one, you have to search on the internet for examples of issues mosaics you are going to answer the following questions how are these mosaics different from the ones we are accustomed to seeing what do you think is the purpose of creating such mosaics what techniques did the artist use to make each of them you can answer here in your book in the second activity you have to put instructions to make a Escher like mosaics in order. You will find this information on the previous text. In an additional sheet, you are going to make an Escher like drawing following the steps from the previous exercise. You can search on internet an example like this. 
for you can work your own mosaic. From page 308 to 309, you will find a reading. You have to read the expository essay. It's about animal artists. When you finish to read, you are ready to answer some questions about the reading. On page 310, once you already read the text on page 308 and 309, you have to use the following graphic organizer to write the main ideas as well as supporting ideas of the expository text. Remember that the title of this reading is Animal Artist. Now, here you are going to write the main ideas about the reading. In the second activity, if it's necessary, you have to read the text again and circle. And for finish, you have to give your opinion about if you are agree that human beings are the only creatures who are able to produce art. Why or why not? And this is all the work for this week, guys. Remember, the expert in anything was once a beginner. Have a nice week. Bye.